L D N R B S. We have another special guest yes. in the building, Shauna Sharday. Let's give a clap. Hey. 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 Hi guys. Hey. And for those who don't know who Shauna Sharday is, if you just listen to that banger entitled "Me Like," that was by the one and only Shauna Sharday. Can we give her some love? Another hey, day. Thank you guys. Hey, 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 hey. As always, I got a little um, sad like chat before I interview. Obviously, oh, on SoundCloud, even though it was a time ago. That's why I asked okay. you before. Oh, God. It came on randomly, and I was yeah. like, "Alright, oh, what's this tune?" Like, <laughs> okay. what, with SNE. Like? Yes, yeah, yeah. it was, and I think I, I heard it very yeah. early on. Yeah, and then I looked back at it, and it seemed like it was going everywhere. Everywhere, yeah, yeah. Big tune. Thank Tell you. me Thank about you. the process of even recording that song. Oh, well, like. into, yeah. All right. If I'm gonna be honest with you, yeah. And shout out to SNE. Shout out to SNE and Miss Banks as well. If I want to be honest with you, Malak actually came about. It was. I wouldn't say it was. It was a good accident. So the same day I made Malak, I got fired from House of Fraser because oh, I was working wow. there for like. Whoever fired her. <laughs> ever I got fired from House of Fraser because like I was so ill. I was actually so ill that day, and I was like, no, nah, fuck this. I was like, I'm not going to work. I, was, I got to the train station and I was like, hmm, well, work is killing me. I think I'd rather be in the studio. And I diverted to the studio because I actually had a studio session that day. So I double booked myself. Didn't want to go to work because I forget work. Went to the studio session. My first ever time working with Penthouse, big up them. Um, and like it was premeditated. So managers that I had at the time were like, yeah, I think you should embrace your Jamaican side. Because before mm-hmm. I was actually doing Neo Soul. A lot of people don't know this. Like I was Love doing Neo Soul. Soul. Mm. And then, um, yeah. So the beat was already like created when I watched into the session. It was a setup, basically. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it was actually a setup. The, the song was one. there. Yeah, sweet one. sweet one. It was there. It was being played. And then um, I literally just started vibes in. So like I literally, I was on a chair. I was like swinging around, being childish. And I was like, you got to vibe me like, me like. And then he was like, get that down. <laughs> get that down and I was like what it sounds stupid like oh, it sounds dumb well, and he was like no fire. get that down right now and I was mm. like okay I'm gonna get it down and I think at the time one one and one um, Tiger just come out in it yeah. and obviously like every, a lot of people had mixed opinions about it like some people thought it was crap and I thought what he came different and over time it's kind of beating into my head so I kind of like it I'm going to confess that I do yeah. Yeah. and I'd never made a song like that and I looked at how he made it and how it was so catchy and, and memorable mm-hmm. and I actually kind of like I wouldn't say I referenced the song but like I got inspiration from one on one to, to put it into me like and at first my managers were like no this sounds silly this is this is absolutely nonsense take it out right now Damn. you can write better lyrics than this wow. and I was like no it works like trust yeah. me the melody bangs and everyone was like no this bangs and my manager was like nope and I was like well <laughs> guess what I'm not taking it out because yes. I like it yeah. Yeah. and then <laughs> is your manager here yes. right now? yes no, oh, no. I'm, 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 I'm trying to pin it on someone yes, yeah. that's, that's old management yeah. but um, yeah. <laughs> um, long story short but I pick up pick up him though we have a good relationship by the way he comes to my show still sometimes yeah. Um, but yeah like he pushed me to do the song I was like no I'm not changing it liked it and then we were, and then SNE however mm-hmm. he wasn't even meant to be at that session yeah. he just like pulled up because he had a good relationship with them and yeah. like you know some people have good some artists have good relationships with producers so yeah. they just come to their sessions or just come and chill or whatever yeah. and that was that for them at the time and SNE just pulled up that's the first time I'd actually ever been in studio with SNE Madness. imagine that and he started he was like lying on the couch and he was vibes in and it was just such a musical energy in the room that night and everyone Perfectly was like hold tailored on for his kind of basically style, yeah. and we was like nah S that sounds cold like yeah. you might as well actually finish this verse and yeah. lay that down by the end of the night we had me like Jeez. and it was just like alright cool like um, now what do we do and then um at first everyone was like ha huh. like a lot of people had mixed opinion like my manager especially was just like nah this is rubbish and I was like I like this yeah. and then everyone else was like nah this is a vibe yeah. and then when S came on it was like nah this this is a banger so we moved from upstairs and we went downstairs to like another little room um, where it was like loudspeakers mm. and then we like it, we basically had a mini party I think I've got the recording on my phone somewhere we That's had like great. a mini party with like everyone to like just vibes to the actual song Yeah, it just went off and was like yeah this has this potential it, yeah. to do bits but then times we didn't like know about Spotify and all that so SoundCloud mm. was obviously mm. the first option yeah 
and we put it on um, on SoundCloud and it was doing like really well and stuff like that and started to get familiar. Um, should I go into how Miss Banks came on oh, as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Shout out to Miss Banks. Sorry, yeah, shout, yeah, out. shout out to Miss Banks. Like, she's, doing, she's doing bits right yeah, now, by the way. Um, so time went on and I was like, no, I've got to do a video for this because at that time, I didn't know how, how well the song would have done. Like, yeah. I literally started to get a lot of recognition for me. Like, yeah. And I thought to myself, no, nah, we've got to do a video for this. Mm-hmm. But it was like six months down the line that I had this idea. So everyone's like, well, to make this song relevant again, do a remix to it or just give it a mm-hmm. reason to like... Have have a video yeah mm-hmm. so we was like okay hmm let's think about this so nobody kind of knows this but like I went down to <laughs> Steph London's video shoot for Real Ting hey. at the time and I, that's where I first met Miss Banks and the reason we met was because she borrowed my slides wow. <laughs> as you do as you do <laughs> like she come through late and she was like oh my god like I need to, I need makeup I need this I need that and then she borrowed my slides and long story short I forgot to take it back from her <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then she reached don't tell out. me you DM'd her back no after. I did oh. I did I didn't, I didn't actually. I didn't. <laughs> um, funnily enough, she had a session with Penthouse and obviously they were like, I don't know, they were just dis- like discussing me or whatever and she thought like my like was cold because mm. knowing Roxy probably played it to her or something. Yeah. And she was like, oh like, well, I've got her slides. Can you tell her that I've got her slides? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But she actually messaged me from her own number. Wow. So there's her number there, cool, whatever. Yeah. So then the remix idea coming, man. I was like, wait, I've got Miss Banks' number there now. We go. There we <laughs> go. Do I use this opportunity yeah. to ask her? Yes, honey. And I swear to God, I'm not even lying. I'll I, I tell you the truth. I messaged her and I was like, would you would you be on the remix of me like and I swear to God within like two minutes she responded like yes I, I love Jeez. the song I've been mean, the song Jeez. wavy yes. what yeah. of course yes. I want to be on it and I was like good energy okay like Hold let's it do it <laughs> so we made the session happen and a lot of people don't know this as well um Abs was actually on it Abracadabra okay. he was actually on it but we didn't release that version we kept the version with Damn. just me mm. S and Miss Banks and she came down like probably a week later laid her part no hesitation she come she did what she had to do and yeah like she was just so efficient she's so easy to work with man she's lovely like she she means she says what she means she means what she says she's mm. reliable yeah. and um, literally the whole video shoot actually was done by my mum Oh wow! Imagine wow. that, momager, wow. big up her. Like wow. she, she, she believes in me Shout so much, in it literally. Yeah. So she got the venue for me. She styled me. She taught me to misguided. I was picking up rubbish. She was like, that's, <laughs> that's, she was like, no, we're not wearing that. I love that. So she picked out my outfits for me. Yeah. She done my hair for me. Um, and obviously the only thing I did was I reached out to the MUA which was Mahina big up herself Mahina yeah. Makeup she's quite popular on the scene um, and then she came down and everything was literally my mum mm. and she paid so much money she spent like near to a grand on that video wow. shoot for me because she believed and then shout um, out to yeah, yeah, shout out, no, shout mom, out no, to mum's mom's amazing man yeah. I can't lie to you man she's, she's amazing and shout out to the women in Paramount with, yeah you know, definitely Jordan making moves yeah, yeah, yeah make a 100% hundred percent, man and we put it out and um, luckily enough um, big up Patrick Yabish I was friends with him for a very long time from when he was working at um, Represent Radio yeah. and he's now yeah. working at uh, he's doing A&R at Black Butter yeah. mm. and um, he just reached out to me and was like yo like, if you ever need your videos on Grime Daily mm-hmm. let me know like, everything just worked in yeah. sync it, like, like it, was it, was, it was so yeah, organic and he just reached out to me and was mm-hmm. like yo if you need the video on like a platform or you need it on Grime Daily let me know and I was like well like, I got a video yeah. and, then, and then I sent him a like and then Posty was like what why have I not heard of you <laughs> like where have you been he was like listen anything you need yeah. let me know so like since then um, if you notice like my videos and everything I'll put up is, is, is always with Grime Daily because they've just supported me from the get go and, and yeah that's how that is my little story of how I'm in life and big up that one the track is a banger most definitely Thank you. but let's Thank rewind God you stuck to it let, is, like let us rewind we don't know Shana Shade so cool. for those who don't know <laughs> you tell us all about you Oh, but what? And where it started? What, what, do, what do you guys want to know? know from the you want to go way? Oh, back. you want to go way from back, back in, way back, back in time. Like, okay, so, so you, are you repping Tottenham? <laughs> Straight in with that. I mean, <laughs> that <was now. laughs> I need another. I, I mean, I was raised in North London, Tottenham. Oh, so yeah, what is, in the, in, is the what is in the water? In Tottenham? I don't know. Everyone comes from Tottenham. Wait, this is know. where the, this is this is where <laughs> it comes from. <laughs> like, no, I literally I, I went I went I went, I went Greek City Academy. Um, Avelino and Notes went there as well. More stacks too, mm-hmm. coincidentally. Um, but yeah, so music for me. I'm gonna be honest in it. I was a rebel. Like I wanted. I chose music. 
because I thought it was easy. Mm. But I loved yeah. listening to music though. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then um, I wanted to be a lawyer actually. Amazing. But then, as I said, I chose music as like a GCSE slash A level because I thought, yeah, I can easily like pass this. Yeah. And then when I got to like year 11, I was put into an ensemble where I've, I'd done my first ever show mm. and I sang alongside like two other girls and like we all had like individual parts and the first song we done I think it was Empire State of Mind Alicia Keys yeah. Yeah. it was epic like I'm not gonna lie it was so epic and from there I kind of thought raw oh, like I can sing a little yeah. <laughs> you can like, I it. can sing I know <laughs> and then and, and then um, there was like another girl in my year Big Up Yourself she knows who she is <laughs> I was really like competitive with her but in a good way like we was very close but we was really competitive because she yeah. had she was she loved singing as well and mm. she was like known for it and I thought raw oh, like I want to be known for singing too like, I love this and I just became so dedicated so this guy that I really hated at one point <laughs> you always end up with a guy that you hate I really I hated that. him so like we hated each other in yeah. fact it was yeah. mutual <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then he's listening to this interview right he's now he's gonna be listening then, for sure uh, <laughs> he ended up becoming my closest mate um, oh. so he played he played the guitar and that's how our, our relationship actually started so he just loved music as much as I yeah. did and I actually enforced I kind of I feel like I inflicted my passion of music like onto <laughs> Because I was like so forceful. I was such a forceful girl. I was like, there you go. <laughs> we need to be rehearsing now. No lunch. It's not lunch no time. It's not play time. <laughs> we need to be in the rehearsal room. We're learning this song today. And he'd be like, but I got homework to do. Got, like, Mr. Mishra said, this is you. And I'm like, no, wow. we need to learn, like, Lana. Like, we need to learn all these songs now. Like, Amy Winehouse, this, that, Miguel, Gee, learn yeah. it. Amazing. And then, um, we would always like perform and rehearse I actually stopped like people would ask me do you still go to this school because mm. I stopped going outside I stopped going to the canteen Jeez. I stopped going to the what's it what's the room common room the common I stopped room. going oh, there yeah. like, right, that's good I that love music well. so right. so much and then um, yeah that's how it all started with me and me and his name is Dawe you know he's Ethiopian yeah. and stuff his name's a bit different <laughs> but you know he's dope he's really yeah. so yeah it was, I can also see yeah. um, so Erica Badu is inspiration to you yeah Erica who else Badu, would you Lauren Hill um like, do you know what? What's her name? Etta James. Ooh, I yeah. love. I have to say yeah, this. I have to jump in. I have to go jump on, in. I have to on, jump go on, go on. in. Now. Your music and your energy yeah. seems mm. like it is just positive. Yes. You just yeah. seem thank like you've got a bubbly, thank you. yeah. infectious energy. That's dope. Yeah. Even your music yeah. comes across that way yeah. too. Yeah. But then mm-hmm. you started off by saying you did Neo Soul. Yeah, okay. yes. you just uh, also <laughs> talked <laughs> about Lauren Hill, yeah, yeah. And James. Those are the Where, things I used yeah. to do covers for. Like, to be with you. like even Amy Winehouse. There's a song. There's one particular song. My favorite called artist it, of all. It's called yeah. What It Is. Yeah. Um, I heard that she actually done that song when she was like super Uh high Mm -hmm. and obviously it came out after her death um, R.I.P. Amy and um, yeah I love that song so much and I performed that I performed that at every showcase Mm -hmm. up until I started to do my own music I think I performed that everywhere like people wow. they knew I was going to perform it like yeah. I'm on the stage they know I'm going to sing this song today because yeah. I just performed it everywhere and um, that's is that, is that a gateway to where you're heading yeah um, wait let me this is a good question yeah, yeah. 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 Before, okay, wait, before I'll I get there, back. before I'll I get there, the, the last thing I would say is like this is how I knew I wanted to do music anyway mm. so like my sixth form teacher was like if you don't do music you're getting kicked off the course and I'm like what mm. no way <laughs> but he only done that because he wanted me to do a solo performance and I was like so I was like I'm not doing it so he saw the I'm too scared yeah he saw the potential basically and he was like you need to do a solo performance yeah. you need to do that for your end of year and I was like I'm not doing that and he was like yeah you're doing that to 300 people mm. oh I shut off the oh, course and I was like oh, wow Tough that's, love. Some, like, that's some real pa- that's I was like why yeah. <laughs> are you doing this but look at you now yeah so that that, that day made it made me like I literally rehearsed my, my butt off and then when I went on that stage and I performed and the reaction I got I li- it's like some I had like an epiphany so I looked out into the crowd and everyone was like standing ovation and all these teachers and stuff and like I had like a little feeling inside I was like I can't see myself doing anything else wow. now yeah. that's it for me like I love music now that, mm-hmm. that's it like nothing else and then from that day I, started, I, was, I was rebellious um, I met a guy called do you know Vianney does anyone oh, know of yeah of course Great music. so Vianney reached out to me on Instagram and I used to put up like my little covers he was like you're dope and then we became friends and he invited me to like one of his shows in um, like South mm. and these times I've never been South so <laughs> <laughs> what's I like so, oh you're from North I'm from, I'm from yeah. yeah so I've never been South it was like Croydon on top of it as well oh so you know, I, I basically went London. Italy Sorry, what was your flight ticket? <laughs> I went Italy for the first time guys <laughs> <Jeez, laughs> and, and when I got there now <laughs> I actually um, I said to Edelin it was Edelin that I was with I said as a joke um, 
oh, I'm gonna go on stage, man. This looks easy. Like I was being cocky. I was like, I'm going on stage. I don't see nobody in the crowd. Somebody heard me behind and was like, I think you should do it. You know? And I was like, Ooh. I was like, I ain't doing it. I don't have no instrument. I was just talk. He was like, No, I think you should actually do it. And I was like, should I? And I like sat down for time and I was like debating, do I do this? Do I do this or not? Sat down now and then um, they called my name and I was like, oh. I couldn't breathe. I went on the stage and I was standing there. I stood, and moms, I stood there for about 60 seconds and oh, people started like, they were like, go, like you got this, like start. And I was like, I was like, Shh. like what do I do? And I looked like I was like, I'm coming off the stage. He was like, no. He was like, you've got 60 seconds. Show them what you got. Your time is going. Mm-hmm. I sang what it is, of course. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I done an acapella version and everyone stood up. And it was a competition. I didn't even know it was a competition. I made it to the semi-finals wow. and I lost to Jay Poet, pick up herself, who's my friend till today. Yeah. Um, oh, Jay Poet. Yeah, yeah Jay Poet. Poet. Yeah, yeah. She, she actually won um, that night. Cause obviously she knew what she was doing. That was my first. <laughs> time. That was my first time. Well, you finessed it like, well. You finessed it well. <laughs> yeah, I made it to semi finals. <laughs> yes, I was like, whoa! And on the panel at the time was um, was Stormzy. This is Ooh, like Stormzy was on the ah. panel, and so oh, I forgot her name. I, Hannah Barrett. Yeah. Hannah Barrett at the time. You okay. know when Hannah Barrett when um, kind of was doing well on X Factor. Yeah. yeah. It was around that time, and she was on the panel as well. And it was a dope experience for me. And then from that, I met a guy called. Seshi, he runs an organization called I Am Next. I don't know if you lot are oh, aware of I Am of course, Next. Of course, of course, of course. That's where it started, if I'm going to be truthful. Every single show up until about two years ago, I was on every lineup, and that's how I met wow. everyone in the music industry. That kind of know today and, and things. They started from there. Talking yeah. of yeah. shows. Yeah. Which it seems like you do a lot. Yeah, yeah. it seems I know. like you're always, uh. always. What, what's coming up? Where can people kind of come out and watch you? Um, so I don't know if you guys know a girl called Naya Sap. Naysap, she's like a stylist. She un- she runs. A- I think I've seen her before. Yeah, yeah she yeah. she styled like a couple, a quite a few yeah. artists, and um, yeah, she's got a sh- she's got a show called Girl Gang that she's mm-hmm. doing in Croydon Box Park on Wednesday. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. have you, have you heard of it, Girl Gang? Gang. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm gonna be performing at that this Wednesday. Yeah, nice, yeah. nice, yeah. nice. Yeah. I love. The <laughs> what can people guys. expect when yeah. you are performing? Um, I, no, like it, it actually varies. Like sometimes I'd say sometimes I go on stage and like have mad energy with like S, or sometimes I'm just like really chilled. Mm. But then there's just times when I go on and I just feel really gassed and I'm just like getting everyone involved. Or I might do a cappella to start with, mm-hmm. and I think it just depends on how I'm feeling that day and what the what the vibe actually brings. But more more often than that, every single time I perform, like you will enjoy it. I'm not gonna lie, I want to go yeah. to a Shauna show. <laughs> Just, just from this interview, I'm actually I'm ready to go. I watched you perform at one of the stamina party. Oh my god, did you? Yeah, oh, that's I was dope. there. That's and I, dope. Yeah, it was such a good show, good music. Thank I wanted you. to ask. Let's yeah. talk about. I want to go into kind of writing music. Yeah, yeah. What? I guess talk us through what your kind of routine is yeah. writing music what inspires yeah. you that sort of thing um, routine you see with music it's actually all about the feels for me mm-hmm. I'm going to be honest so mm-hmm. I have to go off of the vibe of like what what the producer's doing and, and like the melody like for me and I've got a lot because I don't have much out yet I've got a lot of songs that I've actually that are coming out next year that are in my catalogue that I've been building up and all of those would have stemmed from just like a melody that's touched me and from my hair that melody that I like that's it I'm writing mm-hmm. and it's just it just comes naturally like I'll just I'll be on it I'll write the whole song before the song's even been it, even done sorry mm-hmm. like before the producer's done what he's done, doing as long as he's giving me like a bad boy melody that I'm feeling I can finish writing what I'm writing that's it just the feels also just the feels. sure just the feels, going yeah. forward you you mentioned you haven't got a lot of songs out. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure going forward there will be a project. Yes. What would it sound like? A, a project. A Sade project. Versatile. I can't lie to you because um, I feel like a lot of the stuff I've been putting out have been like very much R&B reggae. Mm. Um, but Shauna Shade is definitely much more than that. Like Shauna Shade is actually strictly R&B too. Hey. And she can do like proper dance or music yeah. so it's like hey. a rage even the accent come out when like, she said it too <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> I can do a range of, of, of stuff and I think it's just like I want to build up my, my portfolio first though like so I've got like a couple singles and videos that I aim to put out first before I do put out like an actual project because I don't want to like put out a project and then it goes to waste because mm. I feel like a lot of artists can Definitely. sometimes make that mistake and then you feel bad like imagine you've put out like 10, 10 yeah, songs yeah. and then like, yeah. song, yeah. like to you is beautiful and then to the next man it's like oh, well I don't really know you it's so <laughs> but then so I want to build up myself put out more singles and obviously we've got like a potential single that we think when we put that out next year it should do bits obviously we're not putting it out straight away that's going to be like towards the summer 
we feel like that's gonna be the one, and hopefully we're hopefully we're right. And um, is it Joshy? Was there any features? Collabs? Yeah. Hey. Do you know what there is? Oh, there, <laughs> there is a there is a feature on it. There okay. is a feature on it. Um, Are we gonna get a name drop? <clears throat> I can't mm. confirm anything right now. I can't confirm anything right now. No, I, just... I like to do my. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't. I can't even name drop. But just know, <clears throat> sorry, just know it's it is like it's, it's proper. Well, yeah, I'm like, I love it. Excited for yeah. that one now. Yeah, I wanted to ask. Obviously, you have yeah. collaborated with quite a, a few amount of artists. Yeah, yeah. Who would you say has been your? I guess not most favorite, but who have you really enjoyed having? Who would you do another collab with? Straight up, easiest answer, S and E. Hey, shout every out. time, the yeah, no, nah, it's lit. Like every, you see, you see with S, yeah. I've, I met S at a music potential when I was like sixteen, and he had dreadlocks. Yeah. By the way, sorry, <laughs> sorry, I'm baiting you out. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm baiting you out. S. <laughs> like I met him at music potential, and like we just always like been friends from then. And um, yeah, like every time we get into the studio, man, it's just natural. Like we bounce off of each other because we're both so passionate. We've kind of got the same birthdays as well, so like hey, Scorpio, yeah, Canada. Scorpio. Guys. And um, obviously, yes, you're not Scorpio, yeah. guys. Yeah. <laughs> but like, yeah, we just literally have like the same energy. Like, even there's a song we made called "Life" right now. I don't know if a lot of people have heard it. It didn't get pushed as much, but it's on P Montana's. Yeah, it's on P Montana's album, and that song there happened so naturally and within no time because we just bounced off of each other's energies. And it was one takes. Like literally, that's how that's how well we work together. And we've got actually another song that's going to be expected on his project that he's putting out um, next month. Who is it? Is it January? January, yeah, January hey. times S is dropping a project, so you hear us again on 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 his projects. But yeah, pick up Shauna in and the S. next five Thank years. You. Where is Shauna? Um, I actually aim to. I want to be an international superstar. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, the way you said it, I was like, I wanted to win. Just the yeah. way you said it, I want to be an international yeah. superstar. Like, no, I do. I want, I want my music to reach overboard, and obviously, I'm willing to work super hard. Like, long story short, because I know these things aren't going to happen without me working hard. Um, and if anything. I'm willing to do do everything that I need to do to basically get there. I know I, I've had my little fair share of experiences with what it is like now, so I just know that it's gonna like it's gonna be hard, but mm. with the right team, mm. surely we'll make it. You know, Love not that. to end on on this on this um, note, but you even said <laughs> it's gonna be hard. Yeah. So yeah. tell me about the industry. Yeah. And tell me because you are crossing over for sure. Yeah. So and you're doing it rapidly. Yeah. So tell me about the industry and even being a woman in the industry. How is it? How um, is it? I would say the industry. I say if you don't have like a solid team behind you, you will be very wary. Um, and if you don't have people that are respected themselves around you in the industry, it's going to be a lot harder for you to get things done at the same time. Like when you need things done, if the person's not respected or well known, because people go based off of that, sadly, yeah. if they're not like respected Definitely. or well known, they're, you're take, they're going to take the, they're going to take long. They're going to yeah. take their time to do things or to pass over things to you or to get things done. Or even just until you actually have a name, mm-hmm. like the industry is very... It's very lame in that sense, mm. but um, one yeah. thing I would say though, I won't even just bash it. The people that are actually passionate about the music, mm-hmm. it's so easy to work with those ones, yeah. because they they care about the yeah. music. Like they're not even thinking about money and all this mm-hmm. other stuff. They're just like, I love music, so mm-hmm. you need something done, yeah. cool. I, I reach out to them. I say, send me the stems for my song. They send it like ASAP mm-hmm. because they know they know how important it is for me when I ask them something mm-hmm. to just get it done. Um, but being a female in the industry, I say just respect yourself, man, and let people know what it is. Like when you get into the studio. Show them that you're here to work. Like, don't yeah, be indulging is... in too much conversation. I'm a yes. male, and I'll say, yeah. say it again. Thank you. I'll say it for the ones Seriously. in the back. That's for the ones in the back. I'll say it for the, like, the back and like, 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 Seriously, unless you have an actual yeah. relationship with the producer already, and you lot are cool, and you Which can. Which video goes viral when you just said that? That moment's gonna go viral when you said that. So true. And I'm not even saying like I'm not even joking. Like, unless unless you actually know the producer and you lot have a cool friendship, and you know that after this five ten minutes worth of convo, you're gonna work anyway. Yeah. Then it's cool. But if you go in there once There's I'm no like left or right. yeah like, you, you then you, then get get what you're giving yeah. like at the That's end of the day true. but if you go in there and show them listen I'm here to work no boss. start working get the, this is what I want this is the ideas I've come here with this is what I had in mind prior to the session um, and this is what I want to do but I will never lie and say that you have to build yourself up though I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie mm-hmm. I had to build myself up it wasn't always like that I'm for still me still doing it now yeah, it takes I, a while, yeah. yeah. Like, when I went into yeah. sessions when I first started I'll be sitting there for time and nothing will get done I'll just sit yeah. in there yeah. I'm just sitting there they're doing whatever they're talking their nonsense and they're making their music with their friends and That's how you learn but yeah exactly mm. but now as I've kind of built up a little name yeah. for myself people are more like keen to work with me so yeah. when I come they know what it is they're like ready to work like mm. what vibe are you on and how was just the process? get to it was it quite frustrating for you the process um, of at first, reaching yeah. out to producers because I know sometimes it's like you're a bit wary of it you don't really know who it is that you can mm. trust in reaching sense. out to producers 
No, because I don't, I don't, I haven't actually done that. You know, my one has actually always been organic. Like, I've met a lot of producers through other people yeah. or just coming to other sessions or being invited because a friend said, oh, you know, Thingy spoke about you and said that they want to work with you. And so, like, okay, well, let's line up that session and see oh, how it goes. Okay. Um, so, even like one of the biggest songs I've got coming out, which is. I, well we feel like it anyway um, Nana Rogues is the producer for that song and if you guys know Nana Rogues he's Legendary. the one that he made yeah. yeah he made Passion Fruit for Drake yeah. and like he's let done me go I'll, 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 I'll <laughs> speak oh. for him I've got about 25 like, listen, Nana Rogues a legend like Nana Rogues he's epic and like, even that happened that was through like um, that was through like people I was working with before and they like kind of bought the opportunity ahead and let me not lie the first session I went to I sat there I had to sit yeah. there <laughs> I was sitting in the back like like, by the way, I'm really talented. And he's like, okay. <laughs> I was like, um, I was like, I'm really passionate. He's like, yeah. <laughs> I was like, I really want to do music. Yeah, yeah. I even played him one, two songs, and he was like, <laughs> uh, he wasn't giving away anything. <laughs> and then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna bread it because you know what you actually deserve me to bread you right now so I followed him yeah. he didn't follow me back <laughs> I unfollowed him and I followed him again <laughs> that's real I like the realness yeah. right now yes. I unfollowed him and I followed him again and then he was like you know what this Probably. girl she's going to have right now. <laughs> and she got the tune people hey. and then and yeah, she got literally. the tune that's hard work you got yeah. the hard yeah. work exactly. <laughs> guys yeah. where is your social too for anyone that doesn't know um, so Sean today literally everything Every platform, so that's S H A U N A S H A D A E. Show us today on every platform, every socials. Yeah, and we champion this girl. We do. Yeah. We, are, we are beautiful. We are loving sure. this energy. Sure, let's give her a clap. <laughs> Sure you check. We're looking forward to your music. Thank you. Guys. And anything last that you want to say to the people too listening in to you? Um, I would say just look out for me next year, 2019, Jeez. man. Like I'm not playing games anymore, and we're hey. gonna keep it consistent from from next year onwards, hey, man. Yeah. That's it. Consistent. Last woman. Last woman. Last woman. Thank you. Guys. And we have my year is different to your year. <laughs> Coming in right now. It really is He's different. in the other room. He's going to roll through. LD and RPS. You had it. Pulse88.co.uk. Follow us on Twitter, Instagram.